Well, it wouldn't be a first video on this channel if we didn't start with this particular phrase. Sup, guys? Tyster here. <laughs> it's all going downhill from here, boys. It's I'm all leaving. going downhill from here. <laughs> uh, and welcome to the Dash Dicey Burnley. Situation. We're playing D&D 5e here. I am Alan. I'm the DM. Uh, screen name Buck Merman. Jordan. Uh, hello. I am the person who's playing Leonidas Chloe. Also the gay people. Eden. Uh, Newfie on here, and my character is Gilda Fisher. Tyler. Mm. Uh, I'm Tyler. I'm playing Pollo Famentine. Ooh. Silver. Hi, I'm Silver Wolf, and I will play playing Pepper Sorfu. And Owen, our lovable dumbass. <laughs> Damn it, Alan, I was about to say it. Hi, I'm <laughs> Owen. I am playing Faliard Ghostblood. Um We had a campaign before this that helped build up some of the lore of this world. Uh, but I would like to welcome you to Lavenia, a homebrew world of my own creation where about 500 years ago, at the start of the Third Era, a lich by the name of Dravok invaded the material plane from his realm in the lower Shadowfell and took over most of the continent. Those places that he didn't take over by name still bend the knee to him in the form of tariffs, taxes, and other sorts of tribute. One of the only places in the world that is still truly free from Dravok and the corruption that has been slowly seeping across the land is the Shattered Isles, a collection of four islands in the Southern Ocean, known as Kaldoran, Castledon, Vilsaurus, and Minavar. We find ourselves on Castledon, on the northern coast, In Salvin Beach, where the Famentine clan has set up a banquet and party. Poyo, where are you? Probably better. I'm, I'm at home. Probably just uh, enjoying it. Probably be a... Uh being told to get dressed, but I'm not. Picking my teeth with Quill. A porcupine shifter. Poyo has been estranged from his family for years. And as you're sitting there ignoring your sister's impatient requests for you to get ready and be presentable. You think back over the past few years that you've been away from home. It's good to be back, but you learned a lot as you were gone. Some of the guests are starting to arrive at the party now. One of them, Poyo, as you're sitting at the one of the banquet tables, you instinctively recognize. You've never actually seen this person before, but you feel that you know who they are, and they know you. A human with bronzed skin, um, tanned, 
wearing a fine white button-up shirt under a green vest, a mop of brown hair. Walks up and sits down next to you. Uh, you, you, you need something. Well, we had a deal, didn't we? Uh, I suppose. About ten months ago. And since then, you've just been working and working. So I arranged this little bit. Gathering a few people that I find interesting, like you. And you'll make good on your your end of the bargain. <laughs> Me interesting? Oh, please. You're more than you think, Poyo. Not anything interesting about anything about this is, uh... It's my sister that is getting currently getting married. I have no idea how she even is getting engaged. <sighs> Therese is interesting as well, but not in a good way. <clears throat> Tell me about it. Anyways, I'll point out the people that I've gathered here for you as they arrive. We'll see what happens. It'll be fun. Oh, I'm just having a blast currently. <laughs> <laughs> and you turn away to look as some of the final preparations are being finalized um a group of circus performers setting up on one end of the beach a rabbit folk with a few assistants setting up a full service bar on another end and you look back and the man's gone bathroom probably i get it who was that you were talking to no, well, you know, just some guy. Oh. I think I probably owed him money. I don't remember. Don't tell me you got into debt while you were gone, brother. <laughs> me getting in debt. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh. Yeah, I don't have any money on me currently. You glance back over to the performers. One of them seems to stand out a little bit to you. And you find yourself making accidental eye contact across the distance. What in the goddamn... Thaliard, where are you? I, seeing this being looking at me, just hurrying, get back to work. Um, I'm doing a lot of heavy lifting along with uh, Forge. Uh, the two of us mostly doing any of the setup needed for this event. Um, I've not been told much about the event. And I'm just doing what I can to try and keep things together. A half-orc, but very clearly a half-dark orc. One of the race that splintered off from the mountain orcs. Uh, when Dravok invaded and his corruption seeped into their lineages. You've been traveling with this circus now for 
11 years and as you're helping them set up for this private event a little bit more subdued and professional than the normal crowds you're used to you find yourself looking back on the path that you've walked to get here you feel a slight tap on your shoulder yes I turn around Lucian nods to you you going to put that down? Been standing, staring off into space for a couple minutes now. I take Woods on my shoulder and I just put it down and just look towards him. Uh, uh sorry. Uh, just nothing. Well, we've got pretty much everything in place by now. Uh, your act won't be uh, the first or second. You'll be third, I believe. So. Yeah, which one? Go get your... Hmm? Which one? Uh, your cards first. Duh. I, f- I decided the other event might be a bit too vulgar for this crowd. All right. But go on, get a drink. Meet a few people. The folks okay. here uh, might be a little more accepting of you. Thank you. And he pats you he, on the shoulder and walks away. As he walks away, I walk over towards the bar that's being set up. Um, can I Leonidas, get a- where are you? Um. <laughs> so I would say I would be. <laughs> so you said I have assistance, yeah? Two. Two? Okay. Yeah. One I'd say I'd probably one be. Rabbit, I'd say I'd probably be somewhere around the bar, just sort of micromanaging everything that the assistants do. And just nitpicking everything they do. And then as, um, Billiard is coming over, he can hear, No! Stop! This is a high-class bottle of wine here. I'm you sorry, need to... I'll try to be more careful. Gosh. Just... It's, it's fine, it's fine. Just... It's fine. Uh, oh, uh, hello? I'm I just quickly dust myself off. Uh, hello. Uh, now d- is not the time to ask for a drink, is it? No, no, no. Every th- all, it's always time for a drink. Hmm. Uh, you I see before you a rabbit folk. A um, little bit of a little bit on the older side for rabbit folks. Um, his whiskers are getting a bit longer. Uh, dressed in what appears to be a fine red shirt and slightly more casual white shorts. Mm. Um, so you seem to be a man of class. Ah, uh, well, I, I sure seem to put myself off as, off as such. You are succeeding, my friend. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, where so, did you want this bottle to go? Which shelf? Uh, put it up on the uh, middle shelf, please. All right. So, a, a drink, if I may? Of course, of course. Uh, here, I'll get you our finest, uh, set of wine here. Oh, no, nothing fancy. Nothing I'm fancy? A, I'm just a, uh, worker with Lucian. Come on. This is a party. A celebration. I'm not a celebration type, normally. Ah, I see, uh, I see. You see one of the, uh, porcupines... 
uh, that actually reached out to you for this event, Leonidas. Um, walk over. I do hope you're not planning on getting the performers drunk before their acts. Oh, uh, of, co of course not. That would be un 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 unprofessional of me. I'm, I'm that sorry. That would be very unprofessional. I do oh. appreciate you coming up with this on such short notice, by the way. Listen, I might not know much, but I know money, and the, the money was good. Always is with the Fame and Time clan. As you well, are. It's a pleasure to be in this, uh, this kind of high class party, too. Thaliad kind of bows his head as they walk away. You know what? I, I am fine with this drink. Thank you, though. All right, then. Enjoy the rest of the party. To you as well. Thaliad kind of walks back and you see him kind of grabbing a deck of cards out and kind of looking at them one by one. As you're looking down at those cards, you notice movement off to your left and see a large group of people, mostly most of them appear to be servants of some sort but you see a collection of well-dressed rabbit folk uh, in the center of this gaggle of people and as they approach the porcupine who had greeted you uh, at the bar walks over to welcome them, addressing them as the Zorfu clan. Pepper, where are you? I am in the middle of the... of everyone, um, trying to wrangle my siblings, saying, okay, um... Which siblings? Uh, the younger ones, uh, making sure that they... they're not running off, I tell them. All right, I remember, we don't make a scene, uh... Twins, please, please don't do anything too bad. Um, just don't make a scene, please. Um, Pamela and Pamelo exchange a mischievous glance. All right. You see one of them whis start to, like, whisper to the other. Oh, great. Ah. Uh. Uh, says, don't worry, we won't get in any trouble. <laughs> or at least we won't be caught. That's the most I could ask for. Don't get caught. Yeah. Um, alright. Uh, it is a party. Have fun. Um, just, uh, I, I feel I have to say this. Don't do anything to the cake. You see them exchange a disappointed glance. Yeah. Uh, um, well, uh, where are we seating? Um, uh, we are seated next to the Fame and Time clan, of course. Uh, I believe your seat is actually right over there. And your brother, Raynort points over to the table where you see a few of what you would recognize as the fame and times uh, sitting, one with one of his own quills in his hand kind of picking at his teeth. Alright, I'll walk over and introduce myself. Hello, um, uh, my name is uh, Pepper, but you could call me Pep. Uh, it's very nice to see you guys all again. Um, I'm just going to go over to my seat. Sorry. Polio rose his eyes. He continues picking at his teeth. Uh, um, I, I hope everything goes well. Um, sorry. I'm just going to go take my seat. Polio, you feel a tap on your shoulder. Uh. You turn around and 
It's that same man again from earlier. He whispers in your ear. It's one of them. That was a Go long on. bathroom break, dude. <laughs> um. Uh, what, what's your name again? <clears throat> uh, Pepper, but you could call me Pep. Do you have any, uh, any siblings named Salt? Um, uh, no, uh, I don't. Um, you, you're, if I remember correctly, you're Poyo, correct? That's what I want to be called, yeah. Alright, hi. Hello. Poyo Famantine, at your service. Pep. Magnus Famantine. You see Pilana walk over behind Poyo. Um, another of the Famantine clan that you'd met before. Hi. Um, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. You're still on that name thing, eh? I thought you really agree. I thought you better let me do it, you know? Okay. What's well, Magnus is a stupid name anyway. It's a regal name, brother. Eh. It is a regal name. Well, yeah, so, pretty nice uh, weather we're having, huh? Definitely. There, um, I mingled. Lovely evening. Oh, well, um... I think Helen actually hired a druid to make sure we had clear skies tonight. Ooh. Oh, well, yeah? The sunset should be nice. So, yeah. no chance of this place getting rained down on. Hopefully and not. Being canceled. Aww. Toyo, why don't you go say hi to some of the performers? They seem more your pace. Okay. I know you it's... don't enjoy most of the nobility, so take a break for a minute. I, uh... I... Polio gets gets off its chair and shit, but still a uh, quill in mouth, and walks over to the performers or whatever, very very slowly. Kalana turns to you, uh, Pepper, and says, "Care for a drink?" Sure. Um, nothing too strong. Um, kind of, of light, lightweight. Um. She starts walking over to the bar. I follow. As you're walking together, she says, You know, Helen also hired, I think, a alchemist. Uh, what was his name? Leonidas. Um, to cater this event. So there should be some interesting drinks, not just your normal rum and brandy. Wine. Oh. Should be something fun. Sounds like fun. Um, had you're probably a little closer to the to the bride. Um, how how are they? Oh, Teresa. Yeah. Frustrating. <laughs> I don't know what Reynard sees in her, but he definitely seems to see it. Yeah, um, yeah, um, sorry, it's kind of awkward, um. Oh, okay. don't worry about it. Our fam, each family has its own squabbles. Yeah, so turn around to try to locate all my siblings as two members of the family. Um, you see Raynort. You have no idea where the twins went. 
I was pretty sure that'll be gone. All right. Um, I start uh, scratching behind my neck, uh, just lightly. Um, so, uh, Leonidas, was it the bartender? Alchemist? Yeah. Let's let's see what kinds of drinks he has. You had a you two head over to the bar. Hello. Ah, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Um, this is Pepper of the Zofu clan. Ah, Pepper, nice to meet you. Uh, my name is uh, Leo uh, Leonidas. You can call me Leo though. Hi, Leo. Um, what what kind of drinks do you have? Well, we have our normal set of, you know, our normal set of brandy or wine, you know, unless you want to try something uh, special. Special definitely sounds good. I was actually hoping for that. Ooh. Here, I'll... How about I keep it a surprise for the flavors? Definitely, yeah. As you turn around, all of the various bottles on the shelves behind you are completely disorganized. <laughs> God! I started frantically looking around for the assistance. <laughs> you, you see them kind of... Off in the, off in the corner, um, like, kind of behind the shelves. Uh, and they're looking at something or someone that's just behind the shelves that you can't see. And one of them seems frustrated and the other one seems a little bit intimidated. You hear fast footsteps. Hey, get here. back here! I'll start going over to them. What the hell is going on here? Uh... It, it wasn't us, I swear. It was these two young rabbits just came in and started reorganizing everything. I think they tried to make it alphabetical. <laughs> I, I do a long glare at them. He's, he's hey, can I do the truth. first roll of the game and sure. do an insight check? Roll insight. <laughs> Um, roll. and Pepper, you can go ahead and roll Perception. Perception. For us 11. That is good. That's good, right? Oh, oh seven. seven. Yes. Yeah. This is a great, <laughs> a great start. Uh, I'm more with busy an 11, I'm more with busy an 11 on Insight, um, they seem to be honest. Uh, they weren't okay. intentionally trying to sabotage you. Uh, you get the sense that you've kind of spooked them a little bit. They're they're a little bit nervous. Uh, and Pepper, you unfortunately do not see your siblings dashing away from the scene of their crime. No, when I'm when I hear alphabetical, I w I immediately start to try to hide a a laugh, which <laughs> I. I don't see them, but I know their work. It, all right, it's... Thank you for being honest with me. Just give me one second. And I'll start frantically looking for the bottle I'm looking for. Take it, and then I'll pour uh, two cups for both of them. Ah, uh, here you go. What is it? Gotta find out first. That's the surprise of it. Hmm. Don't worry, it's lightweight. Unless she kind you want to narrow. She kind of narrows her eyes at you as she kind of takes a sip. And you see her eyes widen. This tastes like blueberries. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. If you take another sip, the taste changes. How on earth did you manage that? And keep on sipping, each sip 
has a different flavor into it. Phenomenal. I knew Helen could judge good drinks, but I didn't know she was this good. Well, thank you. It's nice to be appreciated for my craft. Yep. Koyo, as you're walking over to the uh, circus tent that is set up at one end of the beach, um, you kind of glance out of the corner of your eye and you see that same man you made eye contact with earlier currently just kind of shuffling through a deck of cards. I can get this right. I walk over to him. Uh, Thalia looks up from his deck. Um, hello? Yeah, hi. Hello. Not to be that person, but shouldn't you be doing your job? This is my job. Oh, sorry then. I didn't know, because, uh... It's not really familiar. Yeah. So, so how's that going? It, it, it's an act I only get to do at private events. Um, Lucien prefers me to work on my other act. Ah. Uh. I'm Polio, by the way. Polio Feminine. Oh, uh, Thaliat. Pleasure. And I'm Karant. You see that same bronze skinned man kind of walk up behind Thaliard. Karant, you said. Yes, named after the great dragon himself. Hmm. My parents had a flair for the extreme. You don't say. Uh, so, how are you enjoying the celebration? Well, it's interesting so far, but I think it needs something more. Ah, there we are. And he points, and you see a group of three walking up. Uh, looks like two parents and a child, satyrs. Gilda, where are you? Eden, that's your cue. I forgot I was muted. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Welcome to our sessions, everyone. Yay. <laughs> Welcome to Wendy's. What can I get for you today? Not sponsored um... by Wendy's. I forgot which island are we on? Castle Dawn. Which of the islands? You're on the, the big one. The big you're one. on the okay. northern coast of Castle Dawn. Okay. Um. Where is my sister again? Your sister isn't here. Okay, that's at the purple island. Okay. Um. Gilda probably on the sailing ship with her parents. Um, they're they would be doing their normal trade routes. They're probably unloading things for the party at the docks and just finishing up unloading the cargo. As you beached your uh, smaller skiff uh, since this is a few miles out of town uh, and finished unloading some of the various items you've brought you kind of glance up and see a human with bronzed tan skin kind of pointing at you and smiling Uh, what? 
Gilda's just kind of gonna give them like a weird look like why are you pointing at me and then go back to doing her job you finish unloading the cargo as you've done dozens of times before if not hundreds She's probably she knows where the good bar is at this point. Um from what you can see there's only one bar set up at this kind of private event. That's where they're going to head. Okay. As current kind of waves off the strange look from Gilda, <clears throat> kind of glances over. Uh, she'll catch on. I've got plans. And Thaliard, as he kind of glances over quizzically at his comment, he disappears. Now that is a good trick. Thank you. Gets boring Just after a... a while. Yeah. Okay. Um. Does he always do that? Pretty much, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> so, uh, do you know the hosts? I sure do. So you just like it's a bad thing. Uh, I'm not a fan. Okay. Interesting. Someone who shows up to a party of people he's not a fan of. Well, we kind of have to be here. No one has I'm... to be anywhere. <laughs> Except for me. I have to be as a carnival. Well, if, you're si if your older sister is terrifying as a fucking tiger, eh. Hmm. They're a bit limited. It's fine. I wouldn't know what having a sister is like. I'll say you're lucky. Well,. Well, I do have a, a good one, good old older sister. He's pretty nice. I'm happy for you. Yeah. So, what? Do you have any siblings, or? No. No. Just me. Hmm. Sounds pretty lonely, huh? I have friends in the carnival. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Life is... interesting. Yeah. You hear the voice of that man kind of whisper in your ear, and you instinctively know that you only you're the one who's able to hear it. Could be a lot more interesting. You know you're ready for something new. Is that to me? Yes, to you, Thaliard. <clears throat> I continue picking my teeth aggressively with my quill. I must get going. Go back. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh. You see the cards in his hand, uh, he keeps rifling, rifling through them, almost looking for a specific card. Um, and you notice but he just pulls out one card and just uh, puts it back in his pocket. I won't be needing that today. Well, see you around, I guess. 
You see me when I perform. Yep, that's what I meant. Enjoy this evening. I'll oh, yeah. try. You too, Sal, yeah. Pepper, as you are kind of standing at the bar with Pilana, uh, tasting Leonidas's flavor-changing wine, uh, you notice as a satyr kind of walks up across the sand, um, dressed in sailor's garb, but it looks new. A little bit fancier than most sailors that you've seen. Um, Gilda walks up to the bar. She's just gonna get some water at first, just to, like, get the salt taste out of her mouth. Just the just... water. Are you sure you don't want anything, uh, anything more special? I'll start with the water. Uh, I'll probably come back for some Diallo moonshine. Ah, uh, of course, of course. We always have the best things here. Right. Hi, um, sorry to interrupt, um, uh, the name's Pepper, um, are you f from the groom or the bride? I'm just deliver- I came here with my parents to deliver cargo for the party. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. hi. Hi. What kind of cargo you were delivering? What? What kind of cargo were you delivering? Just some more decorations, some more mead. Ooh, could always do with some more mead around here. Absolutely. Um, and your father, Osborne, walks up behind you. Of course, we're also hoping to have an audience with the head of the Zorfu clan. Uh, uh, Lorca's Zorfu, do you know him? Uh, yes, uh, quite well. Um, I believe he should be at his seat right now. Uh, just look for the really drunk guy. Hmm. Perhaps it might be better if we talked to the woman of the family then. Yes, uh, my mother. Um, if she's not. Oh, a... you're of Clan Zorfu? Yes. Uh, Pepper Zorfu. Hi. Osborne Fisher. A pleasure. Hi. Well, aren't we all just getting super friendly with each other? Uh, my name is Leonidas. He makes an oh. excellent drink. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, my Would mother... Would you like one, uh, sir? Oh, uh, Kara. Sorry, I'm not sure I heard you correctly, Jordan. Uh, I said, uh, would you like a drink as well, sir? Oh, I thought I was... I thought you were asking for someone else's name. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> nice. Congratulations, Alan. Your ears don't work. <clears throat> Anyways. <laughs> um, no, not now. Uh, Later, okay. definitely. Of course, of course. Uh, is it an open bar? Ah, yes. Just find me or one of my assistants and we'll help you with the drink. Excellent. Uh, as for my mother, uh, if she's not at her seat, she might be inside with the groom. 
Um, I lost track of her uh, a drunk ago. <laughs> hmm. Well, I will go see if I can find her. I have a business proposition. Sounds interesting. I'm sure she'll give you a run for your money. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, Gilda. Don't get too rowdy. I won't if they won't. You know that. <laughs> this won't be like Dragon Birth Bay this time, I promise. What happened on Dragon Birth Bay? That I'll tell you might in a couple be of things. A, that might be a story better suited for a different occasion. Mm. I'm going to go. Have fun. And Osborne walks off. All right. Uh, another drink then, so that I can hear the story. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. Uh, by then, Gilda's finished the water, and she starts drinking the moonshine. Ah, uh, here you go. Thank you. But, uh... He's not exactly proud of it, but... Growing up, one time, because he... We enjoy nature and feel like it shouldn't be polluted with people's rubbish yeah. and we were in dragon birth bay and i was trying this was a uh, six years ago and i was trying to talk to one of the turtles and then what hold on one of the dragon turtles yeah you're joking one time they they it responded and it rolled its eyes because it didn't think I was funny. That's amazing. Meeting a dragon turtle and not getting eaten by it is definitely an accomplishment. A miracle, I'd say. Yeah. Do you it wasn't a the... full grown adult. It, it that if it was an adult, it was gonna eat me. If it was a child, it would eat you too. Can can you speak to uh, to animals? It it depends. I whenever I was little, I went to some little camp thing over the summer or part of the summer anyway, where. Uh, I forget where it is. Uh, it's where that that portal to the elemo elemental plane of water is. I think it's in um. Vel uh, Velsaurus. Hmm. Uh, they had a, they tried to teach us how to speak primordial. Ah. Uh. I can't say I've ever been to that part of the aisles. Mm, um, nice. Yeah, I grew up on the. Um, I was. I helped them with the shipping company, so I pretty much grew up on the boat. So I'm used to traveling back and forth between the aisles. Mm. Sounds like an amazing experience. Oh, it sure is. Takes more of a drink. <laughs> you, uh, Pepper, uh, you feel a tap on your shoulder and you turn around to see the same bronze skinned man that you've seen popping in and out of the party, kind of exploring the crowd. He says, you sound a little wistful. Um, you could say that, yeah. I'm kind of always looking after my siblings, so 
don't get too much time to ex see the wonders of the world. Um, well, keeping track of family is important, but it's important not to let ourselves go to waste either. I have you a point there. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Um, Karanth. Karanth. Huh. Uh, are you on the groom's or the bride's side? I'm with the bride's family, to a certain extent. God. One of them owes me a few favors, and admission to this event was one of them. Ah. Are you excited for the performance? I hear there's a dark work working here. Really? I haven't... I've been over here most of the time since I arrived. I should... over there. Check it out. Um, I've spoken to him a little bit. He's... focused. Mm. Then I should probably not disturb them. Not till after the show, I think. Yeah. Speaking of which... And he snaps his fingers. And... Not exactly on time. But a couple seconds later... Uh, you hear the voice of uh, the head of the Famentine family uh, speak out, um, and it kind of echoes across. You can tell there's some form of magic being used to increase the volume. Well, it seems like everyone's here, so we'll go ahead and get underway. Oh, um, my ears. The uh, carnival performances will be up first just to give everyone a little bit to talk to, whisper to each other during the ceremony, and then afterwards the reception, catered by Leonidas, a traveling alchemist. He's brought a few of his special brews. Be sure to check those. Um... Afterwards, we have a send-off planned for the groom and, groom and bride. And we should be finishing about an hour after sunset tonight. He nods. And he sits down. Oh, and if you'd like to take us through the acts of your carnival. Um... Do you have a preference on which ones? This is your show. Okay. Um, first, there is a... Um, I'm trying to remember what race it was. Uh, and a dark-skinned male human that just walks out and, and looks out towards the crowd and it gives a daring explanation of his time in the jungles um, on the... Um, what's his name? My brain is not working anymore. On... Um, Vilsaurus. Um, where he found this mystical, magical creature. At which point you all see, appearing from behind in the tent, despite the fact none of you had seen a cage, a ape with a golden coat uh, that seems to be in a slight rage until the table, until this man who who said his name was Braxton calms the creature down. There is a display of the creature's strength as he lifts up one, two, three of the members of the carnival. And then they're put down. And the creature is tamed back into the into the circus into the circus tent that had been made. And you all hear a slight roar and the creature 
doesn't return. About a minute later, Lucien steps out and just says, How wonderful of an act was that? There's ripples of subdued but polite applause from many of those gathered. Uh, you can see <clears throat> Leonidas and his two assistants are currently walking through the crowd, serving drinks to anyone who doesn't seem to be applauding enough. <laughs> um, after that, he introduces the next act, which is just simply known as the Twins. Um, and it is at this moment that you'll notice that there are posts um, that lead further up, um, about four of them. Two going higher with um, two sets of swings that seem to be attached. And it is at this moment you see a set of conjoined twins, um, both human, step out. Um, and they are on the platforms, ready to swing back and forth. Um, and you watch as they launch off the first swing, second swing forward, third swing, and then you watch them flip and grab onto the next swing across, despite the fact that they each independently control a limb. You then watch them do it again, but this time one of the hands drops and launches a segment of fire onto the other swing on the other side. Then that hand holds on as the other launches a section of ice that covers the string on the other side going up. And they swing once, swing twice, swing a third time, and then on the fourth swing, they again leap, flip, and grab onto the swing. But despite the raging elements going on, and they swing and land onto the, um, onto the platform. And again, this time, with no, they move the first swing to the side, and the swing on the opposite side is just swinging there back and forth, as if by magic. And then they leap on, and you have a moment where you think they're going to fall, and yet they somehow just grasp onto onto the swing, and they keep going and swinging, and do a front flip onto the platform, where they both bow. There's a collective gasp from the audience <gasps> as the <gasps> elements are launched onto one of the string first fire and you can see a few members of the crowd immediately start to glance around looking for a source of water wanting hoping to put it out and then kind of sit back abashed as they realize that it's just part of the show the applause is much louder this time Then Lucian introduces Fortune's favor. At this moment, you'll notice a larger figure come out. Um, those of you who had seen the Dark Orc, this time he is shrouded in red robes. Um, very different to how you'd seen him before, but these are very magnificent and laden with a few golden um, pieces. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to foresee what is to come for some of you, at least. You see, I may be a creature that's monstrous to some, but I do know secrets of the future. So, I ask of you, who wishes to be the one whose future I see? Pepper slowly raises her hand. 
Poyo fucking launches his hand into the air! <laughs> Seeing this. Among a few others, you see one of the Feymentine clan apparently extraordinarily eager, and one of the Zorfu clan more subdued, but you can tell there's a quiet excitement just beneath the surface. All right. And Thaliad points to the two uh, people, Poyo, who he had seen before, and this rabbit folk he has not yet met. I will... You know what? Both of you. Come, come. And you see there's a table laid in front of him. I'll, uh... You wish to know the secrets that lay before you? Yes. Yes. Excellent. I have here a deck of cards with visages of future events. Insights into the past and images of what is your present. Each of you, take one card. I need both of you to roll a d20 for me. Yep. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> wait. wait, shit. Oh. Hey, <laughs> Oops. I was really I ready to go know. with the one and the two. I was ready. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, Pepper rolls a one and Poyo rolls a 16. Okay. Um, Thaliard moves over to the cards and um, I need you to roll a, both roll a d6 for me. Because you both rolled double-sided cards. Oh. They both got a five. <laughs> oh, oh, crap. <laughs> So, um, for Pepper, you, draw, the card you draw, um, Thalia turns it over for you, and you see, um, on the side facing you, a rabbit folk that is tinkering with a piece of armor, and on the other side you see a female dwarf at a desk with globes of light around, um, for you, you have drawn the Tinkerer. It is a interesting one, especially given that you are a rabbit folk. Yeah. There are things you'd like to change. Things that seem normal now, but with time, Will be interesting. And you see, um, as Thaliard pulls out, uh, pull, turns over your cards, um, you are also oh, yeah. roll a five. Oh, yeah. You also roll the five. Uh, you see a hand that's holding. That's in a triangle shape with an eye in the middle of it, and the hands yeah. are facing towards you. Ah, you've drawn the hand. This one is interesting. It says something about your past. Uh? You have the chance to act or to observe, and you chose to act. Is that ringing a bell? Mm, just a bit. A bit is all I can ask for. I do not make the past, present, or future. That is the role of the cards. Each of you pick another card. This one will be about the opposite. So for you, it will be about your future, and for you, it will be about your past. 
I need each of you to roll another d20. No cute fortune teller. God Pepper damn it. got an 11, Poyo with a 5. And both of you roll a d6. Pepper God got damn it. Poyo also got a 4. Because of uh. You know what? If you get one more set of doubles, you gotta go to jail. That's Monopoly. <laughs> God dang. Be original, guys. Man, how confused me. That? He copied me first. Nah, my rules are there first. Oh. So, um, this time, uh, starting with, uh, with Poyo, um, the card is turned around and you see facing towards you is the head of a rabbit folk with a, uh, what looks like a classic clerical, um, armor and clothing on. And on the other side, you see a, uh, a skull with a cloaked figure. Ah. Uh, tyrant. This is the visage of the one who rules. Along the sea. The sea. Cool. Uh, in your future, you have a great uphill battle, but it will be well fought and won. He turns to Pepper. Fuck yeah. Uh, a serpent, and you see, as it's a huge serpent that has wrapped itself around a shining anvil, but the head of the serpent is facing you. Ah, it's a serpent. Your past was full of secrets and restriction. Whether you were strong through it or just persevered. You survived, and are here. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot tell if these are true, but all I know is that this is what the cards have shown you, what fate has in store. Enjoy the rest of your party, and heed the words I speak. And with that, Elia picks up the cards one by one, and then walks back towards his, towards the circus tent. I give him a clap as I walk away. I walk well, to the bar. Lucian Lucian walks uh walks out and just says, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that will be our that will be our show for the evening. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Our performers will be around to do any minor tricks if you wish. Thank you and good night. you hear the same voice that had announced the beginning of the show earlier call out. Now we will be moving on to the ceremony. Everyone will reach your designated seats. We'll begin shortly. I go to the bar anyway. I get a drink again before heading to my seat. Uh, Thaliad also, just after his performance, just goes up straight towards the bar. Pepper, where are you going? Uh, 
I am going to look at the magical tricks that the other performers have. Okay. As the three of you meet at the bar where Leonidas is beginning to reorganize, I assume, uh, beginning to reorganize the bottles that the Zorfu twins had so meticulously uh, rearranged earlier. Yeah. Just grumbling as, as I do it. You hadn't had a necessarily good view of the stage as you were passing out drinks. But you had noticed when the performer that's now one of the performer that's now walking up among two others had pulled a card with a image that looked remarkably like a younger you. And do I know who pulled who pulled this one? Um That was the tyrant, so that would have been Poyo, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yes, it was. Thalia just sits down, so I will take that drink now. Oh, sorry, I was uh, too busy uh, reorganizing things. Uh, our, there's already a line here. God. So, uh, yes, drinks, drinks, drinks. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, anything specific for any of you? Moonshine. Uh, Apple cider, if you have it. Apple cider, lovely, lovely. Whatever you prefer. Ah. Uh, here. Do you I have, have anything fiery? Ooh, fiery. You uh, see I as Karen can... walks up. I'll uh, have a look around and see what I can do for the description of fiery. I could always help you flavor it if need be. Pretty subtle car. <laughs> what can I say? I enjoy whiskey. It was an interesting performance, Thaliad. It's, uh, something I've been working on for a fair portion of my life. Yes, yes, quite the performance. Mm hmm I don't get to do it often. It's more of a distinguished uh, event. And did you like the cards you pulled, uh, sir? Uh, Poyo. Oh, Poyo. You see at this moment that uh, Thaliad pulls out the cards and just starts looking through them all. I think I got the... Not sure about my future, but I do kind of like uh, being a, a well-fought ba battle and stuff. <laughs> kind of want to get out there. Oh, you know that'll happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gordon, you said you were named after the uh, yes. original dragon, correct? The the prime dragon, Kara. 
I'm actually a worshiper of him. Specifically. How did you come to meet Poyo? Uh, we met in a burning was... building. Yeah. There was, was in... a oh, like temple that was on fire and we ran into each other trying to help people out. See what I said? Observe. No. Action. Yes. <laughs> yeah. If I might ask, what was the temple for? Who is it? Who is the uh, deity? I believe it was a temple to a Lovenai. Yeah. A Lovenai, that's a uh, interesting deity. A minor goddess. Never. Goddess of the hunt. Hey, Leonidas, can I have an appetini? Oh, hello. Uh, of course, of course. Thank you. Hello again, Pepper. Hi. Oh, Pepper, you again. Great. Hi. Uh, pass me a drink, bartender. Thank you, Jay, by the way, for um, pulling the cards you did. It makes my job here easier. Hmm? <laughs> See, I... I... A weird book. Your job? I was asked to put together a group of adventurers. Vilsaurus has been difficult recently, and the Adventures League there is Recruiting. They're waiving the admissions fee for training, actually. So I... I... explain your whisper in my ear. <laughs> so I These found the, with, the five most interesting people I could find. I think you'll work um, well together. Wait. Five. I'm, I'm, I'm a part of that five? Yes. I would what? I'm just a carnival performer. Just, I'm not a. <laughs> um, Poyo just jugs the apple cider. Uh, careful with that apple cider. It's supposed to be drinking, not toyed with. It's not alcohol. It's uh, fine. What what drink does Thaliad have in front of him? Uh, he has the changing um wine flavors. The flavor change yeah, wine. Changing. How? How 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 cold is it? Uh, as cold as you want it to be. <laughs> I, I would assume uh, that I. <laughs> Belly <Bellyard>, apparently. <laughs> uh, I would like to chill the wine, using presser. Okay. You have a good day. That's for sure. Yes, that's what's what? Also, this does seem kind of out, you know, sudden. Just sort of telling this out of the blue. Does it? You've been waiting kind years of. for an opportunity to grow stronger. Well, I feel like everyone has. That's kind of part of life, man. <laughs> I've not. Not for years now. Yes, you've been hiding. And hiding you've been what? searching for me from the sounds of it. Not for any untoward reason. Eh? You're not the only one with connections, Poya. So! Apparently not. What do you say? Consider this a little passion project. You said adventurers, what do you do? Just wander around? Like, or is it like the adventurers that like to go destroying things in the sake of, oh, well, why not? 
You visited Vilsaur, so you know of the many ancient ruins there. And I've you, seen many Do you want destroyed. us to get something from there? Well, you that's why you're here, us? to make sure that they aren't. Can I do an insight check? Certainly. What are you trying to ascertain? Uh, if he's... Not disclosing anything that's very obvious. Okay. Whoops. Hey, Helio. Nope. Leo. Leo. <laughs> buddy. Owen, buddy my... Owen, congratulations <laughs> on the campaign's first nat one. <laughs> uh, Why? Leo, my... I got the nat one before. Leo, my buddy. No, no, but mine, mine was uh, a D20 yep. nat one for the skill. Give, give me another the, one. The first Oof. skill check that was a nat 20. Oh, did you, did you <sighs> skill the other one? No, oh. I, I, I drank it all. Ah, good man, good man. Here you go. Thanks. All right, I Can need I another one. one tonight? I Absolutely. Said, I was going to say, that's kind Please of... Please do better than me. Oh, I just reached for my actual dice. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, you gotta click the button on roll twenty. We all we gotta we gotta see your dice. Uh, Damn, don't you trust us, Harumph? Seventeen. Unless you're an Owen who rolls seven uh, nat twenties. Hold on, I'm just doing this 17. for fun. Hold on, I'm just doing this for fun. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah. <laughs> um. Wait, I should probably. I don't have to. Gilda with a 17, Leonidas with a 16, Poyu with an 8, and Thaliard I with a nat for 1 fun. for a total of 4. Nice. Um, <laughs> Gilda and Leonidas, you... You get the sense that this man is a little more powerful than he's letting on. Uh, at least. He has an act... He's been doing this act of just... This guy who got in on a favor and... Worships Karan. But you get you get the sense that he has some kind of high rank in the world. But you're not... You don't recognize him. He certainly seems to be dressed like a noble anyways. Must be a very good chess player. Could be. Uh, I would like to see what my siblings are doing right now. Okay, roll a perception check. Twelve. Um... Raynort is nowhere to be seen. You assume he's finishing up the last of his preparations for the wedding ceremony. Mm -hmm. Um, the twins you can see are actually sitting on their hands in their designated seats. Uh, and you can see, uh, your father is sitting between them. And he's got, like, one arm around each of their shoulders. <laughs> um, you don't see your mother sitting over there. And if I remember correctly, you told me before the session that your other sibling wasn't attending? Yeah. Right. Um... I think it's a good time for me to do something for myself. This sounds like a great opportunity, and if nobody else objects, I, you guys all seem decent people. Why, thank you. Except for you, Poyo. Oh. Um, well, that's a little too salty. In. Uh, 
Taliad, what do you say? I need a moment. And Thalad is just going to stand up and walk. Uh, we're on the beach, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the bar is actually on the opposite. Um, so where it is, is uh, the bar would be on the eastern side. Because uh, this is a north-facing beach on this island. The bar is on the eastern side of the beach. The place where the carnival tent was set up is on the western side with everyone's kind of seated in between. Yeah. Um, and the place where the procession is going to take place is kind of facing towards the ocean. And Gilda's uh, and her parents' uh, small skiff is beached maybe 150 feet behind the bar. Um, Thaliad is going to walk about 30 to 60 feet east and then north to the ocean and sit just where the waves will crash against his feet. And you're nice. far you're far enough west on the northern coast of Castledon that you're not affected by the uh magical strong winds that plague the channel between Castledon and Vilsaurus. Uh so the waves are gentle. They kind of lap at your toes. Kareth turns to Gilda. What about you? The sort of protector. Make sure they don't get into too much trouble. I mean... What... You said that we're just going to be adventuring, but I don't even... I don't know who you are, and you don't seem like just someone who's connected. You seem more important than just, oh, I'm the messenger. Like, what? what's your stake in this? I happen to be similar to J Thaliad. I practice divination magic uh, as part of my service to Karanth. He grants me glimpses of the future, and I've seen some unfortunate tidings. I think we might need some heroes soon. I want to make sure we have plenty on hand. Be sure five is enough. So, do you think heroes are a sailor, a bartender, a fortune teller, and... Not... Uh, not just the bartender. Okay, I'm waiter! Gonna... Can I have another one? <laughs> I see how it is, Poyo. I see how it is. And then, no offense, Leo, whatever I just want my Whatever Polio is, how, how are we supposed to be heroes? I'm technically a mailman. And technically, I have really spaghetti arms, and I don't think these are going to do much. Call those spaghetti arms? Pretty furry for villain. spaghetti arms. Furry spaghetti arms. How about that? Sure. Your talents lie in different directions. How? You just met us, and I know you said that you would get glimpses of the future, but how? I, th I told you I found the five most interesting people I could. I've been no looking. No one else was more interesting. Than a worshipper of Elkone? Hmm. Gilda just kind of sighs. I'll let you know whenever my dad comes back from talking to 
the lady of the clan. A fair assessment. Leonidas. Is this kind of adventure going to get me killed? No, it's, think of it like a, a good, a good, good walk. Or just the, some pizzazz. The organization that is in charge of Vilsaurus's adventures is very thorough with their training. You'll have a fair fair idea of what you're walking into. Well, I feel like there's this is a new time for a change of pace. To be honest, I've been doing this whole alchemist thing for a bit too long. To be honest. And to be honest, well, I still won't, you know, give it up, but... Pepe, you studied history, does. right? You've made a study of the ancients. I assume you've all heard of the legend of the hot girl cup, hot girl cup holders. Excuse me? The hot girl cup holders? There was a group of adventurers with a very unfortunate name. Sounds like a bunch of idiots. I think I've heard them before. <laughs> they don't they... Snap, Sounds really dumb. Is there any other names they go by? Any better name? They were once known as the PB and Ks, but I'm not. Yeah, sure the hot, not hot girl cup holders. It is. Yeah. <laughs> wait, why were they called hot girl cup holders? Oh wait, never mind. I don't they were the know. ones who. Yeah. Um, found the chalices of power and brought they the named dragons. The hot girl cup holders. They did. This is a roast three months in the making. <laughs> <laughs> there was a mountain orc A Triton, actually. With much the same view on life as you, Gilda. A dwarf. A tiefling. A few others that came and went. All from various walks of life. <laughs> they never intended to be adventurers. They kind of stumbled into it. I knew that by the name. Of course. And you're saying we could be these some in like, my these holders? In my studies power comes to those who least expect it, and those who aren't looking for it. I'll give you a few minutes to think. Oh yeah? Did you expect this? Waiter! He stands up and walks away. I slowly give a high, like a really long sigh, and I get another drink. I'm gonna look, but like under Poyo, just to make sure he's not, you know, pouring the drinks under him. While Roll he's a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just hand me the whole bottle and just call it even? Anyone? Yeah, 21. I've been drinking all oh, of it. I've been drinking it? all of it. Okay, nice. Just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of giving him like a glass, I'll just slowly slide him the entire bottle. Oh fuck yeah. 
Try to limit yourself, please. No promises. This is as much as I can ask for. Make sure you put that bottle where it belongs. If it's, I see you put that in the ocean, you're not coming out of that water. I don't really put things in the ocean. Cool. Oh, that reminds me of Jack and Birth Bay. Because they were poachers. There's not anymore. How did you kill them? We sunk their ship and more or less marooned them with the dragon turtles. Yeah, I'm not a fan of ship travel anyway. Well, we gotta get to the island somehow. We can always swim. We can take the ship I'm... line. Okay, it's one thing for me to talk to dragon turtles. It's another thing for you to try and swim with dragon turtles. Maybe they can give us a ride. I doubt that somehow. I have yet to find one that will respond if I ask. <laughs> so, what are you guys' thoughts on this proposition? Well, I already agreed 10 months ago. 10 months ago? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> You get a little hit more heads up than us. Yeah, to, but to be fair, he hasn't really came in con- I, We haven't really been talking over those 10 months. It's more of a... Maybe like, uh, every couple of months you'll ask, Hey, he's still alive? I respond, yeah. He's like, cool. Then, then he just, uh... I take a sip. He just kind of... Another, wait another couple of months. And now we're here. Intriguing. Yeah, I prefer... I prefer for him not to do this during this event. It's only... Well, I suppose this is where we all, you know, gathered. Or else would he do it? Eh, yeah, fair enough. If it get me out of this place, I'm fine with it. Is this place such ba so bad? I think it's oh no, it's nice. more of... It's not the the place is so bad. It's but just, it's uh, my... The place. No, it's just my sister is fucking nuts. No, it is the people inside the place. Got it. Yes. How about well, you? I don't know about any... I don't know about any of you, but I am... Um, iffy about this, but I, I don't know. It all just keeps, keeps on going so sudden, you know? Yeah. Um, you're all sitting at the bar, so you'd all roughly be facing uh, west, since the bar is on the east side of the beach, except for Leonidas, since you're behind the bar. Leonidas, mm -hmm. go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Oh god, I'm good at those. What? Never mind. Fourteen. Fourteen. That's seven times two. That is seven times two. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know math. For those who are listening in, if you can't tell, Tyler loves the number seven. <laughs> seven! He very much does. It's it's kind 21. of a meme. Um, Do I put that as a reference? No, you can't put that as a reference. Okay. We can't um, reference ourselves. <laughs> yes, we already have. Oh, and Hi, do not get... Hey, that's oh, a reference. Oh, and do not get the give me give me a drink for a tender. Yeah, that's a reference, by the way. Oh, okay. Man. <laughs> And uh, first, okay. smash his glass. <laughs> Damn it, guys. Leonidas, as you're having this conversation, kind of glance out to see pensively, and for a second you swear you can see the 
tip of a mast peeking out over the horizon. Which is strange, because ships usually avoid this part of the coast. It only really connects to itself, and people don't necessarily sail around the north edge of the island of Castledon unless they're sailing between the continent and here. And they usually don't do that this far east. Oh, why well, look at that. Would a drunk sailor. No. Well, no, maybe. Facing um, the ocean. Thaliard, go ahead and roll perception. Oh, shoot. Oh, Wait, you oh. said the bar was on the east side, right? Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah. Hmm. Looks like I'm confusing my directions. <laughs> I was about to say, Gil is definitely going to keep an eye on the ship, because, like, the ship is going to be, like, with anchored out, because, like, ships. Well, this this is a smaller skiff that you brought to this particular, because y'all are a few miles away from the nearest town, so you would have anchored your ship at the docks, um, and then brought a smaller like rowboat here so it yeah, would be like beached. Dingy. yeah yeah so it'd be beached up on the ship it wouldn't have an anchor it'd be beached up oh so the By ship's the way, beached it's not anchored out yeah the sandbars point of clarification i ritual cast that spell by the way okay. yeah just uh, George said drunk sailors am i right guys i take a sip Drunk sailors? Question mark. Don't normally see uh, ships coming this way, though. I point over to the direction of the ship. I would like to roll perception to look at the boat to see if I can see flags or anything. Go ahead and roll. Perception. Fourteen. No, you don't see any flags. Um, it's a bit too far out, and the light is kind of iffy as the sun is setting. Would I see any flags with that 19? No. Okay. Yilda thinks it's sus. Thaliad starts to kind of walk backwards towards the, uh, towards the bar again. And when he gets there, he just turns around and just says, so, am I the only one who thinks it's strange that right after we are offered a job, there is a ship coming our way? It has to be someone drunk, right? Yeah. You don't suppose that's our ship um, coming to take us away to the island. Where did you say your mom was going to be? Because I'm going to tell my dad, because luckily, I believe that we are on the Viper, the Black Viper. Um, yeah, I'll take you to her. Um, I'll f look for my mom. Okay. Um, um, the ceremony is started by now. Um, so your mom is in her seat. And, uh, Gilda, your parents are in their seats a couple of rows away. I'm going to go sit with them, and I'm yeah. going to try how How long is the ceremony going to take? You've not really been to a noble wedding like this, so you're not entirely sure. I kind of lean over and whisper to my mom, because she's the one in charge. I'm going to be yep. like, hey, there's a ship on the water. And I think it's sus. Hmm. Any identifiers that you saw? I couldn't see the flags, but the locals said that it was coming from a weird direction for this time of day. Hmm. And there's like a wedding with nobles, so it's sus. I'll go take a look. And she stands up and makes her way 
around probably around behind the caravan um to go and see if she can see the ship After a few minutes, she comes back. Well, it doesn't look like they're heading towards us. It looks like they're sailing west. I didn't see any flags raised of any kind, but the... Sorry. But the um, boat was painted a dark blue, it looked like. I could tell against the orange of the water. Does that mean anything? The dark blue? Well, that means it's probably designed to blend into the water. Any ship that's hiding has got a reason to hide. I don't I think we'll think put to sea we for should. another couple of days. What? I don't think we'll put to sea for another couple of days. You don't think that we should be ready since we have the Viper? We can. Oh, we'll be ready to fight, of course, but I don't want to bite off more than we can chew. Okay. And with that, we're going to go ahead and take about a five to ten minute break. Okay. Paul and Neil, Leo is still at the bar, right? Uh, yeah. Everyone is... Out. Yeah, out, everyone yeah. is currently at the bar with the exception of Gilda, who is sitting down in the tables. Yeehaw. Oh, shoot. I, 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 mention... I thought... I thought... So I forgot to characters. mention, What's guys. It? Yeah, so I would have... There was a well, cat in there with Thaliard. Yeah, Thaliard came back from the ocean with a cat. I would have uh, sat down next to my parents. Okay. Diddy. Once, once they saw the ceremony has started. Alright. Well, be back in five or so minutes. Nine. Seven. Eight. Seven. 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 And go. Three, two, one, go. Pussy puppets. You realize that's going in the episode now, Owen, right? Right. You realize that, right? Psst. Oh, Taylor, yeah. Taylor, 100%. Taylor, laugh at my jokes. <laughs> Taylor, don't forget to, you know, edit this out. Taylor, add a, yeah, add a laugh track. So then add Alan, a laugh uh, track. Alan, ne let no one tell you that you're talented or special. Hey, Taylor, whenever I talk, just add a laugh track. <laughs> <laughs> the silence afterwards. <laughs> oh. Actually, do I have any? No, I don't. We're just a bunch of nerds who play Dungeons and Dragons. We're really just a bunch of dumbasses. We should hey, be the Dungeon Dumbasses. Thank you, Matthew Mercer. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome, Matt Mercer. Thank you, Matt Mercer. Shut up, Matthew Mercer. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Uh, That's a reference. That's going into references. That's a reference, yeah. So. We return to... <sighs> Thaliard, Poyo, and Leonidas sitting and conversing at the bar while Gilda and Pepper watch the ceremonies. Of a marriage nope. between the Feymantine clan and the Zorfu clan. 
Who'd watch you know, a this... wedding in D and D? Them apparently. <laughs> it's almost like someone missed out on one last campaign. I mean, nah. we're trying. My family's <laughs> trying to do a trade deal, so we don't want to piss them off by being disrespectful. Do it. <laughs> and it is my brother who's getting married, so... And it's my fucking crazy-ass sister. I hope to God that you are ready. That your brother is ready. He's probably I mean, not. they're getting married... No. They're... No. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey uh hey guys i just had a thought the ceremony just pretty much started what a couple minutes ago yeah basically i should i should probably uh you know before you uh be before yeah before helen comes crashing down no, why are you so f afraid of helen well, it's more of a, it's a more of a lovingly f afraid. Ah. All right, then. But yeah, I, Han, I need to uh, finish this. You're fine with that? Okay, good. What finish? What finish the entire ball here? Uh, boom! I did it. <laughs> Did you just have the soundboard? Thing? Roll a constitution yeah. saving throw. You've been drinking a lot. Constitution uh, saving throw? Yeah, roll a constitution. Shut up. You can't even pronounce constitution. Yes. I, I, I drink too much apple cider, guys. Somehow, no. Tyler is more drunk than Poyo is with a 22. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Uh, if he, on a constitution save, wouldn't he be, like, sober? Yeah, Tyler is more drunk than Poyo is, because Poyo isn't drunk at all. Po yeah, Poyo oh, isn't okay. drunk. He's just being himself. Po he's Poyoba. Yeah, oh, Poyo's he's... fucking leaving. <laughs> he's... <laughs> I love my point of inspiration. <laughs> Not yet, but you're on thin fucking ice. Oh, so just don't sing. Alright, now you can do it. No. Fine. Motherfucker. So, uh, Leonidas, you are contemplating taking up this offer. Uh, yes, I am. I assume you are too. I was going to have a conversation with Karen just for a moment, but it seems as though he's done his trick. Did he even disappeared once again, I see. Yes. Would you like to go and see the ceremony too? I assume that's why you're here. No. That's why a lot of people are here. I'm just here doing my job. Otherwise, I'm just here to be the half orc. Easy to right, then. entertain people when they uh, see you as something inferior. It's also easy to entertain people when they're drunk. Uh, yes, I have found that too. I will have a go, go have a conversation with Karen, and assuming it goes well, I will see you later. All right then. And then Fally, I will go off and try and find Karen. Roll a perception check. Oh shoot! You ready for this, everyone? I'm ready for the nat one. Nope. Oh, Not it's close. a net two instead for a total of three. Uh, <laughs> Alan, do I need to refresh my roll 20 again? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh, that's as bad as the toxic riff that Sam did. Oh. Uh. God damn you, Tyler. Yeah, with the three, you look around and you don't see Karanth anywhere. You just kind of start wandering around, kind of staying to the fringes of what's going on so you don't interrupt too much. Mm -hmm. And as you kind of walk past and start looking through the tents, um, you feel a tap on your shoulder. And you kind of jump a little bit because you didn't hear anyone approach behind you. Yes. I turn around to see who it is. It's Karanth. I see your souls that I was looking for you. You weren't exactly being settled about it. You should know if you've followed me, subtlety is not my thing. Most folk with a circus don't necessarily do subtle very well. How much about me do you know? How far back? I visited the school you attended once. That was the first time I saw you. Did I look like this? No. So at least somewhat aware of what happened to me. And your tribe, yes. Uh Tarrant would see that um, at the mention, uh, Aliad's face kind of uh, changes and shifts and just looks in despair. Then you know why I am trying to hide. Why now? It's time. For what? You speak in truths, but yet you keep something secret. He kind of smirks at you. Secrets bring a little bit of mischief to the world. I'm rather fond of them, actually. You know that Quivelis could have told me more. But what would happen? But he didn't. <laughs> What's done is done. You can't change the past. But you can change the future. I will change the past. I intend on it. Then you've got a lot to learn. Then it seems my road is clear. I will join you for now. To the first sign of something shady, I will leave. Do good for the world, and the world will do good for you. The world has not done good for me so far. What have you done for it yet? I didn't get the chance. And as there are tears in his eyes, uh, Thaliard steps into the steps further into the circus tent and just kind of Sits down. Current nods and 
turns and walks out of the tent. Leaving you to your business. Dalia just shuffles the cards, looking at card number 13. It catches a bit of candlelight for a moment. And for just an instant, there you can see your own face among those that you drew. Your current face. The wedding ceremony is long and drawn out and overbearing. And by the time it ends, even the most patient of those in attendance are sort of rubbing their heels together. And as it comes to a close, the uh, head of the Faementine household once again announces what a lovely ending to the ceremony. Servants, it's time for the feast. Let's eat. Fucking finally. And a collection of it would be a four course meal <clears throat> the first course being a salad and the second course being <clears throat> a sort of clam chowder um along with some fried shrimp on the side. Third course being roast pheasant. And with a assortment of fresh fruits to finish the meal. At the end of the reception, while there's, after the bride and groom have finished their first wedding dance, um, one of the bridesmaids takes out a small box and opens it, and it slowly folds out into a long rowboat. And the bride and groom get into this boat and along with a few others row off out into the waters. You all find yourselves kind of standing around the bar once again as Leonidas is beginning to pack up for the night. The sun is past set now. And the stars are twinkling in a brilliant clear sky. Brilliant clear sky. All right, Leo. Give me the strongest you got. Ah. Oh. Doing even stronger than the apple cider. I mean, eh. Turns out that was my fault for not going for alcohol. Talia, I'm not going to at the same time and just says, Your finest whiskey, please. Jeez, was the ceremony that bad? Mm hmm. Not a ceremony. No, it was lovely. 
I look at- I give Pepper the dead eye. At least someone had a good time. I didn't see much Here you go, here you go. Alright, thank you. I take my, uh, whiskey and I add a bit of flavor to it with the presto, uh, making it taste a bit more fruity. Like, Are you saying that mine isn't fruity enough? How dare like, you? It's like a drink from home. <laughs> like a drink from home. Yeah. So. So. It seems that we will be adventuring together. I guess so. It seems so. You know what we haven't done so far? We haven't properly introduced ourselves. Or know any what much about ourselves. Oh so, okay, yeah. I'll get... Yeah. Okay, you start then. So... I start jogging. Well... well, I am Leonidas. I am an alchemist. I I follow a uh a god known as Elquine. Can I roll a religion check to see if I recognize the name? Sure. I have restarted my roll 20, so please don't screw with me. Don't fuck me. Kill. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I was trying not to say it. <laughs> uh, too bad. Let chaos reign. Uh, with a two. 16, you know of Elquine, um, also known as the Loving Queen or Lady Law. She mm -hmm. is a deity of order, but also of freedom. Uh, she represents and her followers try to create a society where everyone is protected from things that would prevent them from being able to express themselves freely and creatively. Hmm. It's... Interesting theory. You... Wait, wait. You would probably... Um, thinking back on it, you'd probably remember, uh, seeing a few, like, court justices, uh, wearing her symbol from one of the towns that you had visited in your travels. Interesting deity. Oh, oh thank you, thank you. Freedom. I'm not a, uh, a, an old patron of her, but I've been trying my uh, hardest. Everyone is trying their hardest. And what are the rest of you? Must have some stories to tell. Wow. <laughs> Why didn't you go first? All right. It is your I'm, sister's wedding? Yeah, I, I suppose so. But yeah, mm. I'm Poyo Famitine. I have a skin condition that gives me superpowers. And he, if and he just uh, he opens a bit of his jacket and you see like a patch of brass scales on his like. Left, sh left side of his chest. Uh, can I do a nature check? What are you trying to ascertain? If they seem natural? Uh... If they are, like, given. Poyo, are you going to let him examine your scales? May I just have a look? Oh, uh, sure, doctor. Thank you. 
Go ahead and roll. Nature? Yeah. Yeah. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> nice. You're not the fifth necessarily... roll of the campaign is a five. <laughs> You're not necessarily sure if they were natural or given or what it really is, but they All feel natural, warm to baby. the touch. That is interesting. You say it gives you powers. What exactly do you mean? Well, I can basically, uh... Well, for one, fire doesn't quite hurt me anymore. Like, ha 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 Um... Hey, Alan. Yeah? Can I take, like, two quills out? Are they thick enough that I can just start making a fire out of that? Your quills are not very flammable. Yeah, I figured. I just I wanted to... would like to start conjuring a small bolt of fire and flick it at him. Sure. Poyo, are you going to try to prevent him from doing this? Nope. Proceed. <laughs> Do it! Okay. Do it! What spell are you casting? Firebolt. Go ahead and roll damage. Just damage. Just damage. It hits. Eight fire damage. Poyo, you take four points of fire damage. See, not a scratch. And you notice that uh, his fucking shoulders are on fire. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Do you want me to uh, take that look at it? I think it's I, fine. I kind of pat the fire. To put it out. Yep. All right. Interesting. You definitely would have noticed, uh, at least you, Thaliard, although some of the others of you who were trained in the arcane would have noticed that the spell seemed to have more power in it than Poyo's apparent minor injury appears. Hmm. Interesting. Were you born with these? Uh, no. Remember when I said that, uh, I was in a... I, I met Carniff at a burning building? Uh, Thaliad yeah. at this moment literally is keeping an eye out for Carnith coming back. Did that weirdo give you scales? With consent. What? He's a follower of Karen's, correct? Mm hmm. In the religious sense? Or in the. Signs is solo way sense? I like to think we're buddies, but I think it's more of a business sense. Hmm. And what did you offer? Is this a. I assume he wouldn't do this on, off on a limb. No. Well, basically, uh, what happened was, as he as he said earlier, if you remember, that uh, that I saved a couple people from a burning temple and shit. Yeah. Uh -huh. And while he was, he really liked this, probably too much, in fact. They said, "Hey, do you want to keep doing this?" And me being intimidated by... Uh, I'll explain that to you later. Being just intimidated. I should just said yes. But now we're oh, buddies! Now you just gotta go around... Now you just gotta go around saving people. Yeah. Uh, what race is Karinth? Uh, Shifter. Shifter? Er, uh, no. Karinth. Uh, he appears human. Appears human. Yeah. Just like the same I just, skin. Like I described him like three times a human with like bronze, bronze. tan oh, skin, mop of bronze brown tan hair. skin, mop of brown, brown yeah, hair. Sorry. Yeah. That's current. There he is. I can sure see him. 
No, you can't. He's not there. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, where did oh, he go? Where's he gone? <laughs> Well, I'm not sure if he actually told me to keep this a secret or not. If so, well, oops. Fun fact, I guess. She tells us something about each other. At least. What about you? Um, Pepper? Ithalia points towards uh, Gildo. He didn't muted. He didn't muted. What? Uh, tell us about yourself, so we at least have some thing to go on. Um, I I grew up with the shipping company, and whenever we find. My parents have had run-ins with Is there a law? Is there is there any sort of like laws here in yeah. this world? There, there are very there's very much a governmental system. There very much is government. Damn government. <laughs> uh, Congratulations, there's government. Yeah, uh, the shattered yeah. the shattered isles. Each island is kind of like a state, and then there's a government of all four isles that includes representatives from each of the four smaller islands. Which one is Florida? The green one. Yeah, <laughs> bit of R. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> you know, you're not entirely wrong. Mine of R is more tribal than everything else. God damn it. I will know. We've got Cap Cal Duran next door. Cal Doran. I don't care. I only care about the first part of that name. Of course. You need to stop caring. You call Pennsylvania Penn. Who are you? Pennsylvania. <laughs> You're the one who mentioned it to me. Douche. Right. So uh growing up with my parents um about half our fleet is able to pretty well hold its own in defending as well as if we see poachers or like you know whalers or people trying to like overfish an area we make them stop doing that in a very fast manner that the so, government doesn't exactly appreciate. So your fleet is devoted to an ideal. Interesting. Only half of the fleet is devoted... Devoted? Devoted. Then <laughs> <laughs> listen. <laughs> your accent's making my brain go stupid. <laughs> your brain goes stupid anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we're all stupid here. But, uh... I completely broke my train of thought. Oh, only yeah. Only half of the only... fleet is... Yeah, only half the fleet is ready to fight back. The other half is mainly try to outrun him. Which side of fleet are you? Whatever boat I'm told to get on. Oh. Um. We're making one right now that. I don't even remember what it's for. Oh, yeah. Depending on how this trade deal goes, uh, we have a ship under construction that we haven't decided if it's going to be armed or not. Uh, 
it just depends on like where the trade route goes if we're worried about it. Mm. Um I grew up with my sister Siren. Um she got married like five years ago to Alan. What what is Purple Island? Because I know that I said some level of royalty or something. Purple Island is Kaldoran. Cool, but like who who she married to. She married a Catterick Utgard. I'm going to write that. Just I know I won't remember it. Here. <laughs> I also have no idea how the fuck you spell that. C A D D A R I C U T G A R D. That was an awful noise. I'm so sorry. Yeah, she uh, married Catterick Upgard. Uh, they met whenever we were actually doing a party similar to this one over in their capital. <laughs> and she gave me this cool little hurdy gurdy that it's blue and it's painted with the colors of the sea and everything because like water and like my mom and my sister are water genasi and then me and my dad are satyrs hmm. so having a water genasi makes ship travel pretty pretty nice yeah I haven't met any Janasi, although I have read about some once. Yeah. And what way, about yourself? I, oh. uh, I was going to say, I don't know if y'all have looked at... Oh, you can't see where, like, my actual character description is. I mean, I... Is it on bio and info? No, it's, no. Or yeah, it's under my like character sheet bio. Yeah, if it's actually oh. on the character sheet, they can't see it. Yeah. Um. But secretly, uh, Gilda is adopted. Her parents were tieflings, and they had a kid in the aisles, and it was a satyr. And they're like, "What the fuck?" So then they noped out, and then the dad found, and then Osborne found Gilda and was like, yes, this is my child now. Uh, yes, um, child. Mine. I love how but... we're just getting random drops of yeah. 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 No, nice. because Gilda looks demonic. She she kind of looks a little bit demonic because tieflings. Um, yeah. Like, she she almost looks like three quarter satyr, one quarter tiefling. Yeah. Huh. Like she has like blue color, like a dark blue naturally occurring in her fur. It's like a dark huh. blue and black. Um uh her eyes are solid silver with the weird like horizontal goat pupil thing because satyr yep so i just wanted to put that out there uh she's also six three hey so is thalia hunt <laughs> so <laughs> i just wanted to put that out there um we have two know. tall people Tall people, you're not even. Yeah. Wait, what's, uh, what's the shortest to tallest? I'm guessing uh, I'm that's a good question. 
I'm joint tallest then. I'm five seven. So... Isn't that like Alan's oh, height? Pepper. I'm a small size. I'm a. Oh, you're small. You're smaller than me. I'm three foot eight. Oh. Oh, <laughs> never oh, mind. Yeah, the, the I'm rabbit, Alan's height. The rabbit folk are probably the shortest. It just goes tall, tall, mid, <laughs> tall, tall, <laughs> mid. Most of my height is made up of ear. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say like in my True. head, I was like, oh yeah, like this is all fine. But if they're rabbit folk and they're like three feet tall. And Three there's less eight. like six feet, like six feet tall. Like, how do you think that has to make seating awkward? Oh yeah. I never oh, knew yeah. rabbit folk was this short. <laughs> I thought it was like, I thought it would be like Bugs Bunny height. Well, some are short, some are not. Nah. We could be Bugs Bunny, but <laughs> I chose not to be. Yeah, so, some rabbit folk are taller than others. There are some that grow up to like five, five and a half feet. Yeah. Um, it just depends on like which lineage you have, or like yeah, how how it's tall the difference you were when between you a rabbit bunny folk. and a giant rabbit. Like, um, because the shattered, uh, because in the shattered isles, sometimes uh, non beast non beast folk parents will have a beast folk child, um, just because like of the residual <laughs> magic, kind of like what happened to Gilda with her two tiefling parents having a satyr as a kid. Um, so like two gnomes having a rabbit folk as a kid, that'll be a small rabbit folk. Two, like humans or tieflings. Having a rabbit folk, that's going to be a much taller rabbit folk. And of course, rabbit folk having kids with each other, height works the way Punnett Square has decided to do. <clears throat> and that's the biology lesson for this episode of Dicey Situation. <laughs> Can we put that in the break of everything? There is an, uh, there is a law dump for Lavenia of just weirdness. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, she that totally has yes. a pentagram necklace, but she has a starfish on it. Oh, nice. Because she's not like, oh man, demons. She's just like, man, starfish. Starfish <laughs> demons, so. <laughs> Starfish uh -huh. <laughs> Please don't give Alan ideas. I just realized that Gl that Gloria Gilda is very tall. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yep. I forgot about that. Uh, Thaliard at this point looks away from Gilda and looks towards Pepper. And a bit about you. Um. Sure. Um. It's not much to say. I'm a magician of some sorts. Um, and I go through my bag and put in my hand all the way in the bag, searching for something. And then I take out it's a dagger. And I throw my dagger up at a post or something. And you see it appear back into my hand. Interesting. I build these little trinkets. Um, besides that, it's not much more interesting about me. Is that is still interesting? Sure. Yeah. I guess. Um, as for myself, I'm Thaliot. I've been traveling with the circus. For the past eleven years. Hmm. Um and well my thing is as you've seen I can cast spells. And you watch as he kind of flicks his hand and says a word, and you see a blue hand just appear in front of him and wave at you all. Uh, 
Um, yes. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's me. Well, nice introductions, everyone. Uh, has anyone seen our friend Karantha? I did near the, uh, middle of the ceremony, but not since. So I imagine if we say his name twice or three times, he will just appear. You sure that's how uh, it works? You do the honors. Karanth. 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 Everyone roll a perception check. Oh my god. Swipe for no swipe. Swipe for no swipe. Please say that worked. Natural 20. Oh my god. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) The first natural 20 of the campaign. The first nat 20 and it's not even the highest number. Uh (laughs) No, Um, right? Owen and Leonidas, you both got above a 20. You kind of look around to where Corinth is and instead of seeing that person you kind of glance out and it's hard to make out against the night sky but you can see a small trail of smoke heading up from the waters to the north and that ship from earlier sailing back west back west i thought it was heading west um or excuse me heading back east God, I really can't figure out my east from my west, can I? You mean so, west? I, th- I thought I said west. Does anyone else see that? See what? Yeah, I can, yeah, I can see that, yes. I... Is that spoke? It is, but that's making me nervous. Is that coming from the ship over there? I can't quite tell from this distance in this light. Maybe they're having a barbecue. Maybe they're sinking. Or having a barbecue. Ships and fire don't exactly get along because, you know, wood. Eh. How far away from us is the ship? Roughly? Um, the dark painted ship that you had seen before that's now heading back east. Mm-hmm. Um, is like just over the horizon. Most of what you can see of it is like just mast and like some sail. Well, show me that horizon. Is it, then. How far away is a hundred feet? Hundred feet. A hundred feet will get you to the edge of the water. Oh, never mind. Yeah, no. This this is all happening miles away. Okay. Um, but the trail of smoke is probably only two or three miles offshore, which is closer than the other ship, but not by a lot. With your Nash 20, you can probably tell that this, uh, ship that you see is sailing away from the source of the smoke. So, it seems they are sailing away from the smoke. Well, we are being tasked as adventurers. I can reckon we start now. Then let's go. We have no way to getting out in the ocean. Gilda just kind of turns around and starts walking towards her parents to be like, hey, I'm taking the boat. <laughs> and we'll leave the episode there. Yeah. Thank you guys so yeah. much for watching. Please subscribe, comment, maybe uh, share it with your friends, family. It also turns out that only a certain percentage of you guys are subscribed. Oh my god. Y'all. <laughs> Fucking YouTube memes are so bad. Yeah, we're, one of, we're one of those people. Man, oh, you're one of those people. Uh, oh man. Who put I you love that I've already planet? launched fire at one of the 
<laughs> the party members. Yeah. <laughs> Love that Gilda was just asked for like a simple introduction of herself and just dumped her whole back. Yes. Story. <laughs> no, because Gilda doesn't know she's adopted, so that was all like out of play. Ah. Uh, oh. Love we that Gilda was asked a little bit about who she was and Eden just dumped her whole backstory. We know <laughs> no, more about your character. Gilda looks like a fucking demon satyr. <laughs> You know, yeah. Demon Seder really If we're really going cool. on YouTube, all I'm going to say is uh, our editor better bleep that out. <laughs> Good luck, we're Taylor. not monetizing this, so... I know. <laughs> we make too many Critical Role references. Yeah. 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 Right. I'll let you uh, sign us out then, Alan. Well... If you made it this far, congratulations. You're probably the only one. And I'm one. sorry. And I'm Wait. sorry. Uh, <laughs> loves and kisses, am I right, lad? Tune in next week if you want more of this shit. Which you don't. And, uh, you, which you don't. And, um, we probably won't see you next time. Goodbye! Yes, we will! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, a dicey situation. Can I? Oh, we, we need, wait, we need to get the theme well. song sorted now. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> la, 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 la. Quick, Jordan, sing the fish food song. No, no.